Corn Warriors is presented by Pivot Bio. This field is down again. Remember a couple years ago it was down, same thing. We try to get as much good corn out of that standing. It's a train wreck, to say the least. And last but not least, won't you corn knee high by July? Better get the plant, boys. I make my living off the land. We're definitely going to get rowdy this year. With aching back and callous pain. I'd like to say that this season's going to be better. Old man said you reap what you sow. If you're going to do something, be the best you can be at it. Out here in these fields of gold. It's hard out here. Always bringing heat. We in Alabama. I'm an early riser, an all-nighter. They call me Clown Boy. Yeah, I'm a fighter. Ain't gonna stop till they put me in my grave. We're coming back a little harder this year. I'm a Jeremy's a grain cart operator. <laughs> we finna go over there and show you what a real operator does. <laughs> Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so, bud. Been real wet, and the car just fell in. Let's go see Dr. Dan. That's all we need to do is start that one in a is hole. Is it in a wet spot, or is it in a sinkhole? It's just a damp spot. It's just moist. It's not really wet. It's halfway it's up the tire. It's moist. really moist. It just kind of fell in. It was accidental. So late season grain field where the plant has more nitrogen than the plant late, that's very common that we see. Farmers ask us, well, when do you see this microbe in the field? The most tried and true time to look is about R3. You go into a field and you're gonna see a differential leaf firing. In a pivot bio proven treated plot, you may have six leaves before you see nitrogen deficiency. It's like it's buying you an extra leaf of nitrogen reserve. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah. And every year's a different year. Absolutely. It's broadening our window. The microbe's job is to produce nitrogen, have that nitrogen source on the roots so that it's there during the entire season. So anytime you have an intermittent nitrogen stress, you've got a little bit of nitrogen feeding that crop all the time. You know, we can fix anything if we, if we have the right program available. But when a weather event comes in and we get, get off that program four, five, 10 days, that's when this product really starts to shine. It fills that void and buys that window of time. Uh, well, let's go get the wagon unstuck because when I watch TV, I want to see that wagon getting unstuck. That's what I want to see. This is kind of things that happen. Welcome to farming. We was talking biologicals early. We spilled a load right here of Proven 40. You know, it just really opened the ground up. You can see the way it's stretched. I'm, I'm messing with y'all. A lot of earthworms here. If y'all seen the movie Tremors, this is one of those tremor holes. You have to go down? Oh, it's just another day. We're just gonna get it one way or another. Y'all seen what happened today, but uh, we really had a good time on the season. First of all, we want to thank our family, uh, Henderson Farms, you know, all the guys that work here. And then we want to thank uh, the sponsors, ADS, Tile. It's been amazing what they've helped me with and the things in the future that we're going to see out of that, I can't wait. Concept Agritech stepped up good. Pivot Bio, me and Dan Poston, man, he's been, he's been God sent for sure. BASF, the Revitech, Veltima, it's, it's a good combination for your corn and your beans. Don't forget Agrigo corn seed. That's what's gonna make it happen this year. I hope y'all get as much out of this as we've got out of it. We've learned a lot, and uh, we're gonna have a good show out of it. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go cut a few soybeans. We gotta shell some corn, so we gotta get rolling. Y'all stay tuned. Have fun. It's definitely been a good ride. Farmers deserve a nitrogen that works as hard as they do. One that stays with the crop until the job is done. It's time to turn to a better nitrogen with Pivot Bio. 
Uh, we've been using BASF. We've really fell in love with the Veltima. We recommend BASF. It lasts longer and works harder to make sure that they are covered from head to toe. Yeah, I feel pretty good about where we're at on corn. I mean, a couple fields we've already picked out. I mean, we got some great averages. Maybe not quite the top end stuff that I was hoping to find, but overall, great averages, and that's what we're that's what it's all about. So I'm I'm pretty happy with everything. I started helping all the way when I was like eight or nine. That's when I started driving tractors and actually helping them. We've been harvesting for about like five to six days. My favorite things to do is drive a green cart. I learned how to do that last year. My favorite corn warrior is Brooks Cardinal. And Kevin's my second favorite. Kevin, he's just super funny. practice after school and then I came straight home, got something to eat and came to most stops. You know, honestly, we're just getting started good in harvest. I mean, I don't know if we got a couple hundred acres done, maybe a little more than that. Yeah, you know, Monty's, Joe's been, been great to work with, had him out here a couple times on the farm, you know, looking at the crop and whispering to it, the corn whisper. Oh yeah, the Matt group, Kevin and, and Terry, and, you know, and, and Joe, that's where this program all came together was from the Matt group. Been huge success for us out here. See 292 average right now, and that's with the dry corner opening up. Three twenty-four. That's pretty good. You know, I'm really happy with that pull. Hell no, it ain't gonna be enough to compete with the rest of them, probably. This competition is uh, very stressful, but we try to have fun with it. And to get a good pull like this, I mean, it makes it all worth it. And uh, I guess makes me ready to do it again next year. So 2022 will be in the plans here shortly and uh, can't wait to get this year over with and start working towards that. All right, uh, Jake Droz. We're at an undisclosed location in Van Buren County, Michigan. We are pulling our 10 acre Corn Warriors yield entry. Right now, it's not really what I was hoping for. Don't get me wrong, it's still good corn, and it still should pay and all that nonsense, but for the hours I put into it, I'm not very thrilled with it. And we learned that the weather just controls everything. There's nothing I can do about it now, just get ready for next year. I think we've all just been so busy. I just, I have not talked to many people lately. Oh, throughout the season though? Yeah, I mean, I'll call Brooks every now and then. I talk to Chad every so often. Uh, I text Corey, but I just saw Corey at uh, Farm Progress Show. Oh, I gotta go unload the cart now. <laughs> well, we gotta look at the weight anyway. Fifty nine five sixty.
Yeah, we'll do a couple more. Thanks to Pivot Bio for everything they do. Brian at uh, SD's Performance, giving us no rotor loss in the combine. I guess I also owe Concept Agritech uh, thanks for sponsoring and letting us try some of your products this year. Yeah, I mean, they, and they're, and they're agronomists, you know, they're there to help you along the way. Their salesmen aren't pushy. I mean, they can custom blend anything for really a reasonable price, too. Thanks to, um, uh, who else was there? Monty's. They're liquid carbon. We put that out here pre-plant, and uh, it seems seems to be pretty good, I think. Thanks to everybody who helped along the way for this year. I was gonna throw one thanks out there to any individual, uh, probably Dave Alexander, or Matt Davis, a couple of my friends down south, and all my other corn growing buddies, uh, my cousin Curtis, uh, thanks to all you guys out there. <laughs> and the viewers. Jeez, man, where am I on that one? My bad. <laughs> you have a favorite viewer? Oh, man, my cousin Andrew's probably one of my, he, I don't know, he's right there. There were four kids that came up to us at Farm Progress. I hope they, I hope they watch this. Uh, they watched the, so, the show so diehard. They were so excited to see us there. That was really cool. Probably have, I don't know, 15, 20 acres left to go here. They're gonna head off to the next field and I got a wedding to attend to. So, all right, well, we will catch you guys later. We're doing a lot of different trials, and one of them is Concept Agritech. We're doing a in furrow starter trial. The thing I'm the most excited to try is a bunch of bugs. It's a biological. We're excited to see how they work out. Estes Concaves has made a big difference for us. I would safely say we've increased our capacity by a thousand bushel per hour. Guaranteed to get it done right there. I will win. Give Estes a try. Corn Warriors is presented by Pivot Bio. Today is Tuesday, November 16th. We are at the Rosemore Farm. We're just south of uh, Jamestown, so this is what we call South of Town Farms. We got two Fent T9s over there. They've done a great job running this year, keeping the grain clean. Been very pleased with everything. So this is all the stuff that was planted later in May. Had really good weather, came screaming up out of the ground. This is actually where we had the uh, Proven 40 trial. It, it's looking like the uh, Pro Proven 40 paid for itself. We didn't throttle back on this farm, I'll, I'll say that, but we didn't do anything too crazy. But like, like I said, as of now, it looks like that it is wor working well. What's it like being on the show with all the other people on Corn Warriors? I want to say all the other egos. <laughs> Man, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Because uh, everybody's a little bit different. Dan is, is by far the quietest, but Dan has the best one-liners. You just gotta be ready for him. And he's very knowledgeable. And then you got Kevin. Kevin's just, you know, he's a straight up killer. He will bet anybody on the show anything, whether it's arm wrestling, I think me and him's got a bet on basketball we still haven't done yet. I thought I was competitive. He take, I mean, he's on a whole nother level. And then you got uh, the Droz family. I'm up in Michigan, the great hair flowing, the young energy. You know, I guess farming has finally beat me down enough that I just watch him on film. I'm like, man, I wish I'd have that energy. Brooks is another one. I mean, what, what he does on his sandy soils and with all the watermelon and sweet corn, I'm just still waiting on him to give me some. And then you got some guy 
named Chad Henderson down south. Chad, the rumor is that you are wanting to race me in 2022. I've got friends in low places. We can teach a boy from Alabama or Georgia or whatever state you claim to be from that day on what real horsepower looks like. Oh, he'll eat that too, though. <laughs> no, I mean, Ch Chad's a great guy. Once again, very, very knowledgeable, a lot of fun. Personality for days, he's one of those people you can't have a bad day when you're with him. So it's a great group of people. We, we all get along. We all do things a little bit different, but that's what makes us us. Hard takeaway this year is it's amazing what you can pull off with a little help from Mother Nature. We finally got rain. We've been dry for the last few years. Mother Nature finally played with us, and it, uh, man, it's been a really good year. It's been a really, really good year. I'm at by far the highest yields across the board that, that we've ever had. that day is when we're harvesting you know our NCGA lot we did one of them today actually I think we did two poles uh, they were pretty good pretty satisfied with it we planted in a no-till right cover crop like every year we always talk about all the challenges and boy I guess we got a bunch of them again this year we we planted dry so that was awesome I think hey, it's always great to get planted dry well and it pretty much just stayed dry we did throw in a nice frost at May 30th, uh, like B5, B6 corn, right, when you don't want it. Uh, sends the corn pretty bad. Our stalks are uh, going downhill pretty fast, so picking this corn is kind of a pretty big priority. July, we had just about an inch of rain. August, we had less than an inch of rain, maybe a little over an inch, but total 5.4 is what the record says for the amount of rainfall until October 1st, which is, oh, probably seven or eight inches less than what it should be. There was, it was spotty, of course. It just avoided us. This is a narrow band where we were extremely dry. Could actually have gotten away with planting 117 to 119 day corn this year with the amount of, of GDUs or the heat units that we accumulated this season. We did have a little bit of disease this year. Uh, this is actually irrigated, so we did have some tar spot, uh, but not much. This corn is standing tremendously. Uh, we're in a sheltered area right here. You can look around and see that there was a real problem with uh, down corn when you look at the fields and they're green with all the volunteer corn that's growing. I mean, it's 75 degrees, October 20th. It should be a lot cooler than this. Everything changes, everything's different. There's always a challenge from one year to the next. We're in Northern Illinois. We'd like to thank our sponsors that helped out with Corn Wars this year. We had Concept AgriCheck. We tried out some of their products. We always use Agrigold Seed. Pivot Bio, we've got one of their tests out. Looked real good. Appreciate all our sponsors and helping to bring the show to you guys. The irrigated farms are pretty good because we have water. The dryland stuff, we are, we're 50 bushel off on a lot of fields of what we would like to be four inches of rain for a season, it's not enough. You get what you get, so we're making the best of it. Had fun doing Corn Warriors again this year. You know, I don't know where we'll factor out in it, but it is what it is, so we keep trying. Uh, everybody stay tuned and hope you're having a good harvest. We're 
we're out with the Soil Warrior today. This year we're focusing on soil health a little more. You'll hear me say it over and over again, it's the best thing I've ever planted on. Farmers deserve a nitrogen that works as hard as they do. One that stays with the crop until the job is done. It's time to turn to a better nitrogen with Pivot Bio. Guys, we're here, today's the 27th uh, September. This was the field that we pushed as hard as what we could, physically, mentally, and, and mother nature. I mean, we monitored things all through the season, and here we are now at harvest, and uh, it helps us to reflect back on everything we looked at throughout the growing season. What did it contribute? Did we put it on at the right time? I mean, this is what farmers go through every single year. Ready to break 400, Con? Well, I'm here to try, but <laughs> been there, tried it, and haven't succeeded yet, so it's tough. Sit here looking at the combine, looking at the ear set on these, how amazingly even, and you don't see a blunt ear all the way through. Look at that, that's all we went, full hopper. I'm looking for 400 here, and I thought this field would easily do that this year and not look at, it all fell over. What a mess. This field looked really, really well. And then last week we had corn go down, but I think he's able to pick it up. I don't know. I went ahead and got two cases of beer just in case we did well. So we're here harvesting uh, Kevin Kalb's uh, 65.99. I'm hoping for a record. <laughs> That 374 that he claimed that year, that was mine. All right, so we'll, we'll go dump that. You guys coming down? Okay. Oh, back again. I forgot what the gross was. About time. Since 2013 was 374. Eight years. Good deal. Before we broke the 400 field, we shelled a field in front of it that was averaging 370. But when we got over to that field, we seen it was down, and we was like, oh, no. Just tremendous heavy kernels. I mean, they were. It's a big day. Congratulations. It was a big day. That's Thank a you. Big day. Now I gotta make sure Sean don't beat us with his 65.99. We gotta tally that up. <laughs> That'd be. Let's get corn. Well, the Warrior Boys better up the game. Spartacus just slayed a big number. <laughs>